Elon thinks Q3 will be Tesla's best quarter in its history, while SolarCity does some housekeeping. Here are your Tesla tidbits for September 28, 2016. Electrek reports that another company-wide email went out today, this time congratulating employees of the automaker for the work they've done. Elon believes that this quarter is very likely to be, quote, the best ever in Tesla history, end quote. However, Elon was also quick to point out that the company's no-haggle philosophy isn't to be trampled in the process. Now, we all well know that discounts galore have been going out left and right recently. Elon clarified when exactly this is permissible. Quote, It's fine to have a discount on cars that have been floor models, were used in test drives, or were damaged before delivery. All we're doing there is assigning an accurate price to the vehicle. However, there can never, and I mean never, be a discount on a new car coming out of the factory in pristine condition where there is no underlying rationale. This is why I always pay full price when I buy a car, and the same applies to my family, friends, and celebrities, no matter how famous or influential, end quote. Unfortunately, it seems this hasn't been uniformly applied. We've had many reports of new buyers having destination fees waived and even options thrown in for free. Elon's allegedly unaware of the new cars receiving the discount and tweeted the following, quote, Corrective action taken. Seems to be limited to a small number of cases, but thanks for letting me know. End quote. Seems some may have been a bit overzealous in carrying out the mission set forth in the first letter. Electric has the last story today as well. As was previously reported, a lot of reorganizations going on at Solar City in advance of the merger with Tesla. Today it is reported that another major casualty has occurred, that of the president of the company. Tengi Sara, who also served as COO, is leaving the company. He joined the company in 2013 as the COO and was promoted to, in 2015 to president and assigned finance as part of his responsibilities. CEO Lyndon Reeve admitted as much that this was related to the merger and went on to say, quote, Tengi has played a pivotal role in helping Solar City achieve the lowest operations costs in the solar industry. He is extremely talented, but due to overlap at the new company, he is going to pursue a new venture. I'm grateful for everything Tengi he has contributed to Solar City. End quote. He'll continue with the company through the end of the year. The CFO role will be assumed by Radford Small. Be sure to check out the links to today's full stories in the show description. If you get some value out of the show, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash tidbits. Thanks as usual to John Maltower, my super patron. If you have something to buy from Amazon, please consider using my Amazon link in the show description to access the site. It costs you nothing extra, and they'll kick something back to the show for your trouble. Lastly, you can support the show for free through positive reviews and all the major me- media services where you find the show, and by simply spreading word of the show to other Tesla lovers. If you have feedback for me, the best way to get me is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. That's it for today. See you again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.